Welcome to Inspiring Gosa TV. And today I am going to interview Lance Olsen for the second time about his two books. Uh, he written two books about Antarctica, both books about Antarctica. So the first interview we just talk, uh, uh, just did an overview about what the books are about. But recently, actually last month, his books were presented at the Frankfurt Book Fair, the biggest fair in the world. And many publishers, literary agents, book distributors were interested in the books, but they had questions. And some of the questions were very similar. So I want uh, to ask these questions to Lance, and I want him to explain, um, just give the answer to all these questions. So the questions were, um, who these books are for and who needs to read this book? Who would you recommend uh, to read the book? What kind of people? I think anybody interested in the uh, Antarctic uh, lifestyle and environment and the start of the global warming back in 1980 uh, era. Um, it's a recorded history of um, ecology, science, uh, research, mm -hmm. um, psychology, um, um, for, for the Australian Antarctic uh, Division, uh, Department of Science and the Environment. Um, yes. The expedition is, uh, the Australian National Ex Expedition is um, mainly um, the first part of the uh, Our Ventures Times in Antarctica on the index uh, it goes into uh, the, um, the stations themselves. There's uh, four Antarctic uh, stations. Um, this uh, list of the expedition's name and contribution of these stories. There's 11 of our uh, expeditioners uh, put their stories into these books. So it's recorded history. Right. experiences and right. science and... Um, okay, so what are the major themes? Uh, like uh, recorded history, what you mentioned? It's recorded history, yes. Uh, of this time, what time is this specifically? Like in around, the... around the uh, 1980s. Right. Um, it, was, um, it was quite a, an interesting era where we had to mm -hmm. make tools out of whatever we had to uh, get the scientific mm -hmm. research done or keep the radio stations going and meteorology and uh -huh. the diesel uh, mechanics had a bit of a time keeping their uh, uh, Caterpillar D5s going and the diesel uh, um, power stations. Right. Um, yeah, the books, both books have been entered into the Australian National Library. Uh, for recorded history, and uh, apparently it's yeah. exactly what they want. So it is more like recorded history of the time from a human perspective. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. what are the other things, like you mentioned something about human psychology of survival in um, such an extraordinary conditions, very <laughs> unusual conditions? It's the highest, coldest, windiest and most isolated uh, place on the planet. Yeah. Um, the uh, conditions, uh, well, they vary daily. Um, it could be the most beautiful place on the planet, absolutely gorgeous coastline, wildlife, mm -hmm. but then the weather can turn and it could be like, like hell and survival, uh, right. which is uh, we've all, all experienced. Uh, right. Um, and so you give examples of human survival. Yes. Um, in these severe, harsh conditions, you yeah. actually like what some some of the most striking examples you remember uh, that you mentioned in these books? Like it's really vivid examples of sub extreme survival. Um, I've, the second book has got a list of all the uh, early uh, expeditions in, and explorers, mm -hmm. uh, beginning of the uh, 20th century. Yeah. Um, but what like is a really like a vivid example you can just describe in a, in a few sentences that somebody maybe fell in the cold water and just nearly frozen to death and then survived? Yeah, that's exactly right. There's a good story uh, put in by Eric 
that was when um, he's got a very detailed um, story of when he was uh, out with the doctor and the doctor fell through the sea ice. Oh. So Eric um, jumped in and helped uh, pull him out because the, the doctor was suffering from hypersemia. Yeah. Then they had to get back to a hut, dry out, and then walk quite a number of kilometres back to the station. Yeah. It's quite a survival. Survival, um, yeah. Had to, extreme yeah. colds. Yeah, so I had to go back, uh, all frozen. Yes, that's uh, right. Yeah, all salt laid in place, which I realised later that... Uh, and he survived. Yes, yes, he's, he's yeah. survived. They both yeah. did. And you described uh, some like emotional... Uh, what, what happens is people on emotional level. Yes, and how they managed uh, their emotions, it would be a, like extreme fear, extreme uh, stress, pain. Yeah. Pain, or lots of pain with the cold. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, um, when, when you're in a survival situation, you uh, find yourself, you've got a job to do. Um, the fear in that comes after you come out of the uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be quite traumatic once you realise what happened and then what you've done to get out, out of the problem, uh -huh. um, survival-wise. Uh, so it also goes on about um, living with, uh, in close quarters of uh, 26 uh, other expeditioners, which consist of uh, support group scientists and meteorologists. And um, you learn to, to be humble. Mm -hmm. Learn to, to uh, accept each other for what we mm -hmm. are and look at the advantages of, uh, of what uh, we, we can give to the expedition and the group. That's right. So, about group survival, how to live together yes, yes. and um, manage each other, each yes. other's emotions and your own emotions at the same time. That's right. It's very isolated. Yeah. You've only got a few huts there. Well, I yeah. we have about eight huts. Um, yeah. And it can be overwhelming. That's uh, right. Um, yeah. So human psychology, you described it very well, and um, you provided good examples of human survival and human psychology in yeah. uh, extraordinary situations, which is quite interesting. And what are the other uh, themes that you covered in this book? So uh, human psychology, recorded history of the time, then a little bit of ecological. Uh, crisis, yeah. like it's like there are lots of uh, things going on in Antarctica at the moment. Yes, yeah, so I've got graphs of when the global warming first started, and uh, the west part of Antarctica is melting, the uh, east Antarctica is actually growing in height, and the scientists seem to think that the moisture from the w warm waters is turning into snow on the uh, eastern part of uh, Antarctica and dropping onto the continent, so it's growing, whereas the West is uh, melting. Yeah. Uh, if the West completely melts, then sea level will rise about five metres. Mm. So you actually describe uh, in your book the examples of beginning mm. of ecological crisis. That's right, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what we see now are the consequences of the ecological crisis and what you describe in your book is how it's all started. That's how it started, yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, any solutions? Like from your opinion, of course, did you oh, provide any solutions? How uh, scientists can help uh, to stop ecological crisis in Antarctica? Well, it was all new to us. Um, yeah. We experienced what was the start of it and we're wondering where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Um, now, nowadays there's a lot of information on uh, where it's gone. And, mm -hmm. um, um, the book's also got um, information about the uh, Antarctic Treaty, the International Geophysical Year, which started off all this ex exploration. Okay, um, so it is still connected to the recorded history. Yes, yes. Recorded history of what happened in Antarctica at the time. That's right. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, well, it uh, looks like a very interesting book. Both books are very interesting and cover a lot of topics, th themes, which are very current uh, for modern situations, so, such as human psychology, survival, uh, recorded history, and ecological crisis. 
and, and how it started. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And so hopefully um, people who are interested in this topic, topics, they find the books quite interesting to read and quite educational. Yeah, the age group can be from four years to uh, 80 years old. Yeah, but I think in quite young, some young people who are interested in these topics, they yeah, can read as well. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of pictures in the wildlife and the continent. So. Wonderful. Yeah, so thank you, Lance. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you.